Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 4. We're going to be breaking down the Episode 16 trailer. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So if you didn't check out my review for last night's episode, that is currently up on the channel right now. Go check it out, that will be appreciated. I really like the episode, and that's all I will tease. And so we're going to be breaking down this trailer and this trailer is very exciting because this is the supposed massive Red Daughter episode. So I thought it was the episode after and I believe it's still the episode after that it's going to be a Red Daughter heavy centric episode. But I think this is the episode that is going to be heavy on Red Daughter but also heavy on Lex. So I believe maybe the episode after is just solely Red Daughter which is very very exciting and this trailer has got me very excited and like I said I really liked last episode I really really dug John Cryer's Lex Luthor I thought he was really good I had really no expectations going into it I thought eh whatever you know I'm not the biggest fan Lex of Lex Luthor anyway as a character and I had no idea like what John Cryer had done in the past apart from the Superman film that he was in for a bit so that was a nice surprise, and this trailer showcases him again, so he's going to be massively involved in this episode, and it's been said he's going to return for the season finale, but he'll go away, so Red Daughter will presumably take over after this episode, so this is so exciting. So first off, I want to quickly just briefly go over the synopsis for this episode, the House of L, that's what it's called, but L with just the L rather than E-L, and so the synopsis goes like this. Lex Luthor continues to wreak havoc. In the wake of Lex Luthor's return, the show flashes back to what he's been doing for the last two years, and how his secret machinations and plans have affected Supergirl and Lena. So that is the synopsis, it's sort of a very nice follow on it seems like from this episode, from last episode, and so it seems like, as John actually said in an interview that we went over yesterday or the day before, it's supposedly an all flashback episode, like predominantly flashback. So if you haven't watched the other episodes in Supergirl in the past, you're going to be a bit confused apparently according to him. So that's very exciting to flashback to these past episodes, you know, seeing things from a different perspective of how potentially Lex has been sort of influencing things. Like Eve has been there since the beginning of season two and, you know, Eve was around when Monel was around, like they were friends, and you know, she's been friends with everyone like Wynn and Kat Grant, and you know, it's like all in the background. So, obviously, I don't think at first they intended to make Eve like a villain to make Eve work with Lex Luthor, but in the comics and in the Superman film, she's Lex Luthor's assistant. So, I think maybe they had the idea in the head, but they definitely didn't plan it out until now. But you know, this episode is going to do a job of using flashbacks to explain things and I think they will try and explain Eve a bit more especially in this episode but like how Lex has been sort of orchestrating things behind the scenes but anyway let's break down this trailer shot by shot and so the first shot of the trailer we get to see Lex and he's in his prison wear so this is in the past this is four years ago I presume and so we saw that at the start of last episode there was a flashback and so, yeah, definitely not present day, I would say. And I know in one of the other trailers, he says, Superman made me do it. But in this one, he says, aliens are among us and I'm protecting mankind. So he believes he is some sort of hero, that he's the man of tomorrow, as he said last episode, to quote him. And so then we move on to the next shot. And this is so intriguing. So we see Lex actually in Kara's apartment. Like, what the frick? How did he find out? Like... He definitely knows Kara is Supergirl. He's found out, and I'm guessing we're going to find out through flashbacks. And so he's actually there in present day. He sees the photo that he took, well, James took of Superman in the past that won the Pulitzer Prize that James actually gave to Kara. So this is in Kara's apartment, and he's right there looking at it. And so, wow, what the shit is going on there? I'm very excited, but... Anyway, let's move on. So this is when we go into Red Daughter territory, which gets me very excited. And I know I've been sort of banging on about it, how I think this season has been a bit too of a slow burn in terms of bringing Red Daughter in. And I think it's just about damn time. And I've been so looking forward to her since the teaser at the end of season three. And, you know, 
we've only seen various scenes, but every time we see her, I'm very intrigued, and I know loads of you guys are as well. So we see this first shot, and I believe this could be one of the same shots as before, but again, it could be a new shot. It's when the sort of outer cage or whatever she's in, I have no idea, like these walls just fall down and you know she's inside this russian sort of prison camp or training camp or i have no idea i it's more of a training camp and she's sitting down and maybe this is a way to recharge her or you know to make her concentrate or something like that but then we move on and we see the suit and we get a really good close-up look at what's going on because the suit from before wasn't like a proper superhero suit it was sort of just a bit like a temporary thing with the sort of colors of this new suit but this is the new red daughter suit and i cannot wait this is very similar to the red sun superman suit with the logo how it's like the sort of russian insignia and you know it's like a mix of lots of different iterations of the comics and so that's very exciting so it pays homage to red sun superman which this comic book storyline is actually sort of based around but she's the red daughter not the red sun and so this suit is very very nice obviously a direct parallel to supergirl suit it's made in the exact same way i bet you lex luthor had this made so it's very very similar so you see the crest of the insignia is right in the same place as supergirl you know where her chest actually comes in it's very very similar with the pattern and in this case it's red and gray and black the sort of colors that she's been wearing in the past and that red sun superman uses in the comics and her cape is red so it's the same sort of cape but again the whole design is very similar to supergirl but it's in their own sort of russian type way that it's all red you know linking to blood and so on so i'm looking forward to actually seeing melissa wearing this and seeing her in action actually fighting supergirl at some point i cannot wait for that and sort of the explanation for how red daughter is around but we can infer from last season it's to do with the Haranel that she was created somehow she's like a doppelganger or like a bizarro in some sort of way but we haven't had that explained yet so maybe that will happen in this episode so then we move on to the next shot and we see lex luthor with red daughter and oh my god when i saw this in the trailer i sort of just freaked out because this is a massive reveal that lex has been working with her and working with the russians so this is all sort of their plan like when obviously they first found red daughter somehow lex found out about it and so he's been controlling what's going on at this camp where she's training and so he's essentially like his master so if you've seen young justice i think this is a similar thing to what he tried to do with creating superboy when he was in cadmus and he tried to create him and sort of control him but he wasn't able to do that i think this is a sort of similar situation where sort of lex is the master of red daughter and she's going to obey or maybe more along the lines of bizarro and how like bizarro really only obeyed her master so i think it's very similar so she looks very kind of brainwashed but i don't think she's brainwashed i just think she hasn't been taught to you know use another side of her mind so we see them in the same room and kara well red daughter kara says i will follow you and destroy her and so we can infer from this this is most definitely talking about supergirl and later in the trailer lex says you can't break a kryptonian but maybe we can bend one so it's all in reference to supergirl so red daughter is finally going to meet supergirl presumably in this episode and this shot is one of my favorite shots you see red daughter as she's lying on the bed because you know the last time we saw her she was bleeding she was on the ground so she was very weak and lex has obviously saved her in some way or helped her and so she's sitting up looking at lex and she says that line that i said i will follow you and destroy her so she's going to see supergirl at some point but i just can't wait like honestly there's going to be so much red daughter this is going to be amazing and so we move on to the next shot we see her well red daughter as she's sort of freaking out so something has gone wrong she's sort of like spasming on the spot and i have no idea what's going on but it's obviously part of her training or maybe she's arrived in america i don't know but I'm guessing it's something to do with her training in this episode. 
All right, so let's move on. So we see Lex with this army police officer in Russia. And so this is when he's visiting Red Daughter at some point in this episode. And so this is the person who he says the lines to later in this trailer. So then we move on and we see Supergirl. She's in the air, she flies. And so this is at the same point that she ended the episode. So she was looking at Lex Luthor as Lex is in the helicopter. And so it looks like she's flying at him, you know, going to pull the helicopter down or something like that. So I wonder how that ends. But then we move on and we see this amazing shot of Red Daughter, one of my favorite shots. Again, I have multiple favorite shots in this trailer that I will talk about, mainly all Red Daughter. So we see her in her sort of uniform that she wears, that all the people around her wears, and it's massive. The coat and the hat, like, it's so Russian, it's so massive, and it really doesn't fit her. And I love it. I think it really, really sort of fits into the persona of Red Daughter. And you see her as she's grabbing on to this man's arm. And I'm guessing he works for the Red for Red Daughter or works for the Russians or something like that. But it seems like she's in like sort of officer wear. So maybe she's been like deputized or something for them. I have no idea what's going on in this scene. But all I can infer is what I've said. So then we move on and it's a repeat shot of Red Daughter from before when she was training. And the final shot of the trailer again is a personal favourite. I think this is amazing. The whole scene is lit entirely red and you see just the colours of her. And so you see her sort of arms crossed and she's wearing that old suit so it's not like the new suit in any of these shots in the trailer but it really really just emphasizes the menacing aspect of her and how she's a villain because you know red connotes to blood and destruction so i cannot wait for this episode so if you did enjoy the video and you really liked it please be sure to leave a like and a comment also subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any videos also check out my review that went up a few hours ago and i'll see you guys later goodbye